Hi, my name is Mike Mahan from the SMA Solar Academy. In this tech tip, we're going to cover the installation of the Sunny Boy US-41 line of PV inverters. The Sunny Boy US-41 is SMA's residential line of PV inverters that includes an integrated SunSpec certified rapid shutdown transmitter, as well as SMA's proprietary shade fix string level optimizing maximum power point tracking algorithm. Before opening the inverter box, please note that on the label on the outside of the box, you can find the device serial number as well as the device firmware version. Inside the box, we find a production test report, the accessories bag for connection hardware, and the installation manual. Please note that on the back of the installation manual, there is a sticker that has the PIC and RID codes that will be used to register the device on Sunny Portal, as well as the final 16-digit code for the inverter's self-hosted Wi-Fi. Finally, beneath the cardboard tray is the Sunny Boy inverter itself. To show you this, I will take it out of the box. So let's move the box off the table and get the inverter in view. Here we have the Sunny Boy inverter. The top section is referred to as the power unit behind this gray lid. This is where all the power conversion electronics resides. This upper lid should never have to be removed in the field. The lower section behind the black lid is called the connection unit area. The communications board is front and center behind this lid. The remainder of the space is wiring area. You also see the display board on the front of the connection unit cover. There are three LEDs, green to signify power production, red to signify errors, blue for communications. And there's also a two line LCD Knocking on the lid when the inverter has AC or DC power will activate the backlight. Further knocking will then cycle through the screens to show information from the inverter. When installing, please remember to remove the protective film from the LCD screen. On the left side of the inverter, you will see the load break rated DC disconnect. And on the right side of the inverter in the lower section, you'll notice that there's a sticker with the main device serial number, as well as the PIC and RID codes for registration on Sunny Portal, and the final 16 digit code for the inverter's self-hosted Wi-Fi. To install the inverter, we're going to separate the power unit from the connection unit. And in fact, if we look at the back of the inverter, the hardware for mounting is built right into the connection unit body. So let's go ahead and separate these two sections. To do this, I'm going to place the inverter back in its shipping box. We've placed the inverter on its head back inside its shipping box. It is very easy to use this box for the disassembly of the connection unit from the power unit. Begin this process by loosening the six self-retaining Torx 25 screws on the lid of the connection unit. When all six of the screws have been loosened, remove the connection unit lid. Note that the ribbon cable for the display board is not installed upon shipment. When we replace the connection unit lid, we'll have to make sure this end of the ribbon cable plugs into the display port on the communications board. For now, just set this lid aside in a safe place. Before separating the connection unit from the power unit, it's very important to remember to detach the ribbon cable that brings the data from the power unit to the communications board. Do this by lifting the black lever and gently pulling off the ribbon cable. Now we're ready to loosen the four Torx 25 screws that actually hold the connection unit to the power unit. When we've removed all four screws, we're ready to gently lift the connection unit off of the power unit. And now we're ready to mount the connection unit on the appropriate surface. The connection unit can now be mounted using two screws, 5 16 inch diameter and washers, capable of securing the unit. The inverter must be mounted vertically with only a slight backward tilt allowed. Please consult the installation manual, section 5, for further mounting requirements and recommendations. Now the power unit can be placed on top of the connection unit and reattached. Ensure the ribbon cable is safely inserted into the connection unit and not pinched or damaged. Secure the power unit to the connection unit by reattaching the four Torx 25 screws and tightening to 53 inch pounds. Reattach the ribbon cable to the communications board. 
SMA recommends installing all of the hardware from the accessories bag into the inverter, even if it is not being utilized. The DC plug has six openings for positive and negative conductors for inputs A, B, and C. Note that on the 3.0 and the 3.8 kilowatt units, the input C is inactive. Mount the plug and tighten on both sides with a 5.32 inch standard screwdriver. The AC plug has three openings for line one, line two, and neutral. Mount the plug and tighten on both sides with a 5.32 inch standard screwdriver. The outlet plug for the secure power supply has two openings for the line and neutral conductors. Mount the plug and tighten on both sides with a 5.32 inch standard screwdriver. Install the plug for the multifunction relay and the secure power supply switch and the appropriate terminals on the communications board. Several stacks of grounding hardware are included. The spring washer, then the clamp, and finally the washer are inserted onto the Torx 25 screws and then each stack is installed as appropriate into the provided positions. Note that one AC and one DC knockout are taped shut. The remaining six three quarter inch knockouts are plugged. Remove the tape or plugs from the knockout openings that will be used for conduit attachment and ensure that all unused knockouts have plugs securely inserted. For clarity in this video, we're not going to be installing conduit. Ensure all appropriate code requirements are met for an actual install. Once all conduit has been attached with the appropriate fittings, the inverter is ready for the AC and DC conductors to be routed into the connection unit and attached to the appropriate connectors. Ensure the DC disconnect and AC breaker or disconnect are in the off position. Please consult the installation manual, section six, for details on stripping length for conductors and tightening torque for the ground hardware. Start with the AC equipment ground conductor. Ensure the exposed copper is secured between the washer and the clamp and tighten. When inserting the conductors into the AC and DC connection plugs, ensure that only the round holes at the back are used. A 5.32 inch standard screwdriver can be inserted into the small rectangular probe measurement port in front of the round hole to open the clamping terminal. This ensures no strands of the conductor are folded back when it is inserted. Remove the screwdriver and ensure the conductor is securely held. Insert AC line one and line two conductors and if appropriate, neutral. If installing line to line on a 208 volt or 240 volt delta service, remember to select the correct grid code during commissioning. Before connecting the DC conductors, any accessories or network cables should be installed. There are two module expansion slots on the communications board and the connector for the Wi-Fi extension antenna is on the right side of the communications board. There are two RJ45 jacks for wired ethernet communications as well. Attach the DC ground conductors in the appropriate positions, ensuring the conductor is seated between the clamp and the washer, and tighten. Insert the DC positive and negative conductors for each string into the appropriate positions on the DC plug. Ensure each conductor polarity is correct and the string conductor pairings are correct. When you are finished with wiring, remember to attach the display board ribbon cable to the communications board before reattaching the connection unit lid. Install the connection unit lid and tighten the six self-retaining Torx 25 screws. Now the inverter is ready for commissioning. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the installation of the Sunny Boy US41 line of inverters. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from the Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.